Okay, welcome to the next video. So in our previous video, or previous couple of videos, should I say, we've carried out data preparation, and then we've added the imagery into Arc Pro. If you haven't done that, and you're not at this stage, then you can go back and watch those videos. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna carry out the block adjustment process. So we've got a mosaic data set, our imagery's in there. The way we do this then is we select imagery, we're gonna create a new workspace to work in. At the moment, we're just working in the map view. So we create a new workspace. We'll give it a suitable name. Uh, we're going to select Aerial Digital as a type. You can choose your base map, which is pretty good. I want imagery, so I'll select that. Then finally, this is important. So we're going to import and use an existing image collection. That is the Modaic data set that we created in the last step. If we hadn't already created this, uh, there's another method we could use, which would be very similar to the drone workflow, but we've already created that. So I've checked the box. Okay, next thing to do is select the image collection. So you need to navigate to wherever this is stored, hopefully in the geodatabase associated with your project. Select that. And then here we have an option that says this image collection is adjusted. That's referring to this block adjustment process. So because we haven't carried out that process yet, I'm not gonna check that box. I'm gonna check finish. Okay, here we are. So we're now looking at uh, image workspace. Um, what's changed? Well, we were looking at the map view. We can see here, we've got this new workspace that we're looking in. It looks pretty identical. We've got our imagery. We've got the background reference imagery. The only thing that has really changed is a table of contents. And you notice this is now set up as per the ortho mapping workspace. So we've got an area for GCPs, checkpoints and tie points. And we've got our uh, mosaic data set in there. We've also got our world imagery. As we carry out the steps and complete certain processes, uh, more information will be added to this. So how do we do things? Well, like most things in Pro, uh, the workflow pretty much works left to right up here. So this is the part we're interested in. We've got a, we can go in and look at our adjustment options, go through those. And then when you're doing drone imagery, you can do a quick adjustment. You don't seem to do that for this workflow. You just go straight in, do the adjustment. Once you've done that, you can then go in and manage GCPs or add GCPs. And you can do the same with the tie points. If you've carried out this process, you're going to have a lot of tie points, so you're probably not going to check every one. Now, you've got a few options here that are greyed out. So creating DMs, or for mosaics, or the custom button, which just creates both of these together. That's currently greyed out because we haven't carried out this process yet. Okay, so we need to do this first, working left to right, and then we'll be able to create these products. And that's what we saw in one of the previous videos. We've also got an image inspector where we can go and look at um, more information around the imagery. We can look at our logs and then an adjustment report. So when we get to the end, we can click on this button and we'll get a nice adjustment report that will tell us lots of details about our products. So firstly, I'm going to look at the adjustment options. OK, I'll click on that. And here we've got our adjustment options box. So this is broken down into two sections, really. The top section is referring to the tie points. And remember from the theory that tie points effectively tie those two images together, but they don't have, they don't relate to the ground or any coordinates. The second section down here relates to ground control points. And if you fill out this section, it's going to automatically compute those ground control points based on the reference imagery. Now, Remember the issues had we had when we tried to auto geo reference ground control points. Uh, depending on how good this imagery is, it might work or it might not. So for this workflow, I'm going to leave this blank and I'm not going to carry out that step. All I want out of this is tie points, and then I'm going to put some ground control points in myself. But what I suggest you do is have an experiment with both methods. Try creating uh, ground control points using the software see if that works if it does brilliant if it doesn't try doing it yourself it's good to practice both ways if you want to know more information about this you can learn about the adjustment options by clicking on the box at the bottom and you'll get the help files that are really good and they give you lots of information 
Okay, I'm going to leave everything as default. So I'm going to say my location accuracy is medium. My point similarity, do I want that medium? I'll choose high, see what that does. Density, uh, I'll leave it as medium. That's probably going to affect how long this takes to process. Your distribution, you could have it random or regular. Uh, I'll leave it random this time, but it's good to try it with both. We'll leave the residual at five, and then I'm going to want a camera calibration performed at the same time. So I'll select OK, remembering that I haven't filled out anything in ground control points, but you may want to. And then there's no quick adjustment, so I'm going to press adjust and we'll see how long this takes. OK, so that process is finished running now. It took around two minutes. We can just have a quick look at the logs. Uh, yeah, so we can see it didn't take very long at all to run that process. However, there is only three images in this data set and this system's pretty fast compared to some. So uh, it might take longer on your system or it could take less. It really just does depend. OK, so at this stage, we've done the block adjustment and we've created tie points. Uh, I mentioned these down here earlier. So now because we've run that process, we can turn that on and we can see the tie points that have been created. Um, if we had less points or you're really interested, we can go in and check those points. You can zoom in and manually check them. However, we have over 3000 points, so I'm probably going to save that for another video. Uh, OK. It's always worth looking at the actual results and just seeing how it is we look around the edges we can see that it still seems to line up pretty good with the reference imagery uh, again we can zoom in and just see how good the imagery looks compared to that reference imagery and there's been some shift and that's quite common uh, when you compute tie points Around the edges, it looks pretty good. However, in the middle, you can see there's a difference. Look at that railway line. So we're going to need to do something about that. And that's going to be adding ground control points. And we're going to do that in the next video. At this stage, we've done tie points. That's what the adjustment done. We automatically computed those. The next stage, we're going to manually add some ground control points. To see if we can prove the accuracy of this image. OK, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments, like the video and look forward to the next one where we will add ground control points. Thank you.